Oh, I welcome my web fiends to our latest updated video on setting up a blue cube account. So let me show you this. Um, first of all, congratulations for getting this far. And now things get a little more real. So with blue cube, what is blue cube? See how I got to it? I came to the front page. I clicked on blue cube. Blue cube is our own little web server. And you can look at view users. You can see these are the people who already have set up a website. So what you've been doing is you've been doing um, a web page in your H drive. Now you're going to transfer that under an actual web server. Now the Blue Cube is only a web server that you can see in school. You can't see it at home because it's not on the live web. But still, it looks just like your regular home page. See there it all is. But it's actually on a different server. So you're going to set yours up just like all these people already have. So what we're going to do is start by saying add a user. Put in your full name or whatever name you want to put in. I mean, actually, just put in your full name because otherwise I won't know who it is. And when you put in your name, it will automatically choose your username and your password will match. You can change that password if you want to, but just make sure you don't forget what it is. I'm just going to keep mine let it match. I'm going to confirm. Now, right here, see it says saving configuration. This may take a moment. This sometimes takes, sometimes it takes a few minutes and sometimes it doesn't work. See, mine reset. It worked. I'm going to go to view users. I'm going to hit make sure it's there. There it is, Mike Richter. There's my username, M. Richter. So first, don't confuse this username with the username that you use to get in the computer. They're two different things. This is just for the blue queue. And I remember what my password is. So now that I've got my account set up, I can leave the blue queue. So it's not, I'm not going to log in here. I'm going to come back to Dreamweaver. All right? And what I'm going to do here in Dreamweaver Actually, I used uh, Gillian's as an example. <laughs> I stole her stuff. So what I want to do is get this home page onto my Blue Cube website. So if you look at Blue Cube right now, and I click on my world, this is the home page that's there right now. They just made that for me. It's all jacked up. I want to replace that with my real one. So what I have to do is I have to click on this, drop this down, go to Manage Sites, and I got you know yours doesn't look like this. I have a bunch of them. I'm going to edit it. All right. And this is the thing we did that first um, day together. So now you're going to come back and you're going to go next, next. You're not going to change any of this. Ignore mine. Yours doesn't have that 16, 17 because I have like a subfolder. Yours just says H drive. And then this is a new thing now. How do you connect your remote server? Well, now we have a remote server. It's the Blue Cube. We're using FTP. That's the file transfer protocol. That's the language that, uh, the computer language that we use to transfer the files from the H drive to the Blue Cube. We're going to basically upload our files. So, what is the host name? Dang, that was a loud motorcycle. It's just called Blue Cube. What folder? This one we leave blank. Your login is the one you just made, and your password is whatever you just made. And for me, I matched. And it should click save. Now, I'm going to test it, make sure it works before you do anything. It's testing, it's testing. Oh yeah, it worked. So I say, okay. If it doesn't work, don't go on. Make sure you figure out what's going on, what's wrong. Maybe you typed in, you spelled blue cube wrong, or maybe you put a space, there's no space. So make sure that works. And here's a very important note. Because of Windows 7 security, there's like a, some kind of bug. You type this in today, it will be there, it will work. But tomorrow, it will, it will not remember your username and password. Even though we click save, it will not remember it. So tomorrow when you come back, you have to do this again. Every time you go to Blue Cube now, you're going to have to come back and do this little step. And you'll get the, you know, it just takes like 10, 15 seconds once you get the hang of it. So just to review that one more time real quick, you can fast forward this, but every day you're going to come in, manage sites. Every day, at least every day, you're going to update your website. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to go next, next, next. Here, I'm going to drop this down to FTP, put in Blue Cube, put in my username and password. I'm going to skip this one all together, test it, make sure it works, and then say done. And now nothing changes, but now I can use this guy, connect. I can connect to my remote host. So I'm going to connect to that, and it's going to connect to me to the Blue Cube computer. The Blue Cube, guy, see now it's like lit up, it's all green. And if you click here, this shows you all your stuff on the left is the blue cube. 
and see that that page index that's the page they made for you that's this page this page we don't want that page I want to get rid of that don't double click that file if you double click it it's going to download it's going to erase your home page which is right here this is my H drive this is the blue cube so I just want to right click it maybe and say delete uh, edit delete and it says, are you sure? And I say, yes. Okay, good. I got rid of that one. So since I erased it, watch. I come over here now. I hit refresh. See, it's gone. The page is gone. Now I want to put my page there. So I'm going to show you two different ways to upload. One way is you just highlight the file you want to upload, and you press the blue arrow. It'll say, do you want to include dependent files? I'm going to say yes. And then it's going to have a little thing. Blah, blah, blah. Now, what are dependent files? Let's see. It's now look. It show, shows up index. Hit refresh. There it is. Dependent files, by the way, are pictures. Like, see how Gillian has? She has this um, little like things of planets in the background. If I said no, then those pictures would not have uploaded. It wouldn't be there. But I said yes, so it uploads too. Now, what what happens here when you click on the link? File not found. Lesson one. Lesson two. File not found. Why aren't those files there? Because I haven't uploaded them yet. So let me show you another way to upload. So she needs to upload all of her web design stuff, which um, I think hers are all in here. Yeah, here they are. So I'm going to upload her lesson one folder, her lesson two folder, her lesson three. And what I'm doing is I'm holding down my control key. If you hold the control key down, it will let you highlight multiple things. So you can do that. You can highlight each thing, and then you can click the blue arrow and upload them. And I'm going to show you a different way to upload. I kind of like this way better. I'm going to open up Lesson 1, see that it looks good, and then I'm going to come over here and hit this blue arrow and say, put, put, put yes. So that's going to upload Lesson 1. And I'm going to do the same thing for Lesson 2. Hit that blue arrow, say, put, yes. And now when I come back to the blue cube and I try Lesson 1, now when I come back and I try lesson one, what? Maybe I uploaded the wrong one. Maybe, let me see. This says Compass Tours lesson one. Compass Tours lesson one. Let me see why that's not working. I'm going to pause this video for a minute. Okay, I'm back. I figured it out. I don't know. It was a weird problem. You shouldn't have that problem. It was something because the way I copied your files. I had a capital W on web design, even though it didn't. So, anyways, it should work fine for you. So now it works for lesson two. But see, her lesson three still says found not found. So I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver. I'm going to go to her lesson three. I'm going to open up her index. I'm going to upload that file. And I'm just going to do them one by one. Or if you want to do it faster, you would just click on the whole folder lesson three. And the whole folder lesson four. And you could use this blue arrow. So two different ways to do it. Just make sure you say yes to dependent files because a lot of these files have pictures on them. And if you say no, it won't upload the pictures. And you see how it's, it's loading it. The first time you upload stuff, it'll take a while because you got to upload all those files. But once they come in, boom it out. Now, one last thing I want you to do. I want you to bookmark your home page. Bookmark it. Gillian's home page. Okay, whatever. I'll call it that. Done. And that way, and then I have it right here. Because what you want to start to get in the habit of doing is every time, like when you finish lesson four or when you finish lesson five and you start doing the Dreamweaver, each time you finish a lesson, you're going to have to go to your Dreamweaver. You're going to have to upload it to BlueCube because I'm just going to check your BlueCube accounts. I'm not going to check your H drive anymore. So what you want to do is upload it and then you want to go to BlueCube and try it yourself. Make sure it works. So if you bookmark it, you can just pop right to it. You can try the trivia. You can see, oh, shoot, it didn't work. Then you go find, figure out what's wrong. Why isn't it working? Lesson four. Oh, it does work. Good. So check your own stuff. And when you have problems like this, then you got to figure out found out found. Because otherwise, when I grade it, I'll just give you a one. Because I'll be like, no blue cube. And then you have to go out and figure it out. So you should just always get in the habit of checking your own blue cube. So cool. Hopefully you're good on this. Remember to, um, that each day or every time you make a change, Every time you change something on your homepage, you like add a new assignment, you get something done, 
you have to add an extra step now. You have to actually put it up on the website. You got to upload it to your BlueCube account because otherwise I won't see it and you won't get any credit for it. And that's how, basically how it really works, you know, on websites. You do your changes like on your local computer and then when you finish, you, it's all ready to go, then you upload it and you make it live. It's not just live as you edit on it. So if you have any questions you need help, you let me know. Talk to you later.